This is the uh, Intendor radio show. <clears throat> and I am the old man now, a librarian of work, who had the two questions, I've said these things before, politicians and uh, stand-up comics are doomed to repeat, repeat themselves. You know, I remember being a kid listening to Lenny Bruce on the record, radio record, record, comedy records. I don't think you ever heard him much on radio. It didn't seem like. But they went over with us young boys, Bill Cosby and Richard Pryor, Records, you know, records, records. Then there was Roger McQuinn just died. I, I forgot about the birds and Eight Miles High, what a genius piece of music. Jamming and then canning it. And that's how it goes. I can't seem to go back and relearn the things that I've been doing because I'm not that great. A musician. This is my first real guitar. This Gibson. Well, I had the other one real. I got two real. The other things I've made, and they work. <laughs> made guitars. My theory being that since I need the currency of fame, I have to be able to play a guitar or use guitars. I can play them any way I want after I've made them. A lot of times I go for a drone. Let's go out for a drone. Blockheads and, uh, let's see here. Hold on a second. Hey, yeah, I forgot to turn on this other backup. A lot of times I'm making soundtrack. I know how to make movies. I even, I remember, I bought a piece of foam core the other day and uh, couldn't help myself because it bounced light with it. And then, uh, I even got a piece of string like or a tape, you'd use a tape or in a string to find the eye line to the lens. And if you don't do it when it's dark, you will get things out of focus. Your eyes just don't work that good, even if they're perfect and diopters all set. Diopters hard for me to understand. Really. Adjust it all for your eye. Diopter. You can do it. These cameras, I got a tough Olympus here. It's a great camera. But the two uh, questions I answered, I wrote a thing for uh, David Marquette. He wrote, Turn the Ship Around, which is one of the very, very, very best, uh, one of the very best uh, leadership textbooks I've read. I took uh, Far Associates Leadership Workshop, and it was excellent. And uh, at the time, I don't know, things change. Everybody gets bought. Anything good gets bought. Corporate hedge fund buying everything. We've got deeds to everything. They don't tend to do much with it other than just rip off whatever wealth is left to it, like Timco. No, Timkin. Timkin Geary. That's a great story of our time. Meyer Lansky and J. Edgar Hoover live amongst us. Uh, hmm. But let, let, let me see what more I can get. I have the music stand here. But I've had the wrong kind of cheerful tune in my head because I get up and I did all the inside stuff. Oh, I wanted to show you something. 
I was going to show you. This is TV, folks. I don't, this really doesn't fit. Yeah, yeah. This it really doesn't fit the yeah, yeah. movie quest thing, but I'm going to show you something. This is, this right here is all you need to be famous. This right here, a megaphone. Megaphone, I gave a megaphone to a guy in a protest during uh, East Village. Demonstration in East Village, uh, Tompkins uh, Square Park. And uh, rats, uh, rat population got real big because everybody was camping in the uh, park there because they were homeless. New York City, if you're homeless, New York City is your home. If you're homeless in New York City, it's because New York City is your home. And uh, there's a lot of cow surfing going on. Goes on. I was able to go there with a job to start a place to stay with. Uh, you know, scrounged up quick. And me and Mark Kemp got along pretty good there for a while. At any rate, this right here, I gave a, a, my megaphone to a guy, and so he got beat up and arrested. So when I go out next time on the street to make a demonstration and talk real loud and play the guitar, which is going to make me famous in front of an old TV station somewhere, any old TV station, just get on the street and that's my plan. I have a headquarters tent though because I want to be able to hide and scare <laughs> That guy got beat up and arrested. And I never got my megaphone back. They got famous with the wrong people, which are the police. A lot of us thought we could hide out, but we can't hide out, not now. It's gotten too bad. A lot of times you could just ignore it or try and, you know, get through it all by yourself, but it's all gone. All that time's gone. They got us anyway. You get old and you still got the same, uh, you know, bad luck makes for a bad society. 